Which is more important, the rule of law or the rule of love? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Let's watch this. Pa, anak, ingat, ah. Yes, pa. Kikwento. Next time na lang po, pa. In today's Gospel, Jesus treats a man with a withered hand on a Sabbath. Could he have waited for the next day in deference to the day of rest and worship as stated in the law? The law said that unless it was life-threatening, treating someone on the Sabbath day constituted work and was not allowed. Jesus faces the Pharisees and says, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? He asks the Pharisees this question not because he didn't know the answer, but because he wants to emphasize the rule of love rather than the rule of law. It certainly could have waited for the next day, but Jesus wanted to show them and us that the person is more important than the law, that we must go beyond what are the accepted norms of society to live our love for our neighbor, the great commandment of God. We can be so enamored with our biblical teachings, and there is nothing wrong with that, but we can also be pharisaic in forgetting that people are more important than the rules the Bible teaches. We can become so judgmental about others that by ignoring their stories, we are led to condemn the people we are supposed to love. When a parent struggles with his children's wayward ways, do we throw the book on him and say he should have raised his children better and spent more time with them and this would never have happened? When our son is homosexual, do we try to hide this from people? Do we force our son to instead become a man and act like a man? And in the process, the relationship breaks down? When a young daughter of someone who is a member of a renewal community aborts her unborn child, do we cringe and say that if only they brought their daughter to the youth ministry, she wouldn't have compromised herself and her family. When we see a couple separating or getting divorced, do we become amused and say that if only they attended a marriage retreat, they could have prevented it? What is our posture on the difficult issues of the day, such as abortion, same-sex marriage, and divorce? Do we judge and condemn people who violate them and distance ourselves from them? In their time of need, what have we done to help them? We can be so focused on standing up against these issues, but if we have not lifted a finger to accompany those in great dilemma and stress as they go through these unlawful, immoral, extraordinary circumstances, it will not score points with Jesus. St. Paul points out that if I do not have love, I am nothing. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, show me the way to love those who are struggling, hurting, and sinning instead of judging and condemning them. 
Let my hands, feet, and pocket do the helping as you keep my heart feeling for them. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.